Hey, how are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? At the moment, I'm tired. <laughs> tired? Why? What happened? Today is my the day. How do you say vacuna? Vaccine. Today is action day for me. Ah, uh, today you put the vaccine. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So that's why. <laughs> and what about you? Do you feel tired today, Natalie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And what about you? Oh, I feel good. I'm I'm always good and I, I have pretty good days, so always a little bit busy, but but nice. Yes. Hello, good. good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good, good. We're just talking about our days, see how everything is going, making sure everybody's okay. Do you have another job, teacher? Uh, yes, yes, I have three jobs. Three? Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One in the morning, one afternoon, and one at night. Correct. And one on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So you are always busy. Every minute. And I'm studying at the university also. All of them uh, with the same company, teacher? No, no, no. All of them different. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So my and you already studying too. Yes. And I'm studying. I'm getting a degree in business administration. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's always it's always good. I I, I like to stay busy. I, I don't like when the people are like, ah, I don't have time. You have time. Only, yeah. only you need to do it. That's why. For me, it's, it's not a problem because, well, I, I am organized, but I, I understand that most people, it's difficult for them to be organized. Because that's yeah. an excuse. Yeah, that's right. For me, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not logical because everyone has 24 hours. You have 24 hours, I have 24 hours. The only difference is how we organize the day. Imagine I have three jobs, my wife, my two children, uh, I study at the university and I have a business. Congrats, congrats, teachers. Little by little, little by little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, the important- Because sometimes we, we, we have excuses for do several things at the same time and I think uh, watching your your example, I think there is no excuse for do different activities, things, works, and, and things that we like, really like or really love. Yeah, and, and to be honest, it's, it's really, you can do everything, but uh, you need to be, you just need to be well organized. For example, me, the difference is maybe other people watch TV. I don't watch TV. They watch videos, YouTube. I don't have time. My my schedule doesn't allow me to do these things. Ah, but but you use your free time in in. I more. for example, I use my free time, my time in lunch today. I use to eat and to study and do my homework for the university. Yeah, that's right. Other people, they only eat or they watch TV or they listen to music and they are relaxed. Me, every moment, I already know. I know what to do every single moment. Don't you get stressed sometimes? No, never. Only stress when you are not organized because then you feel the pressure. Then you feel, ah, I have this, I have this. But if you organize, you know exactly what to do and you know when you have to do it. The problem is when is, is when is we for... wanna do all those all those things at the last time. So we have problems because we don't like you say we don't organize our time. 
Yeah, for me, this is the this is the cause of the stress. It's not the work. The problem of the stress is when the person is not organized and then they, I, I have to do the report for tomorrow. But you know for two weeks and you do. Yeah. I, today is the exam. I did the exam yesterday. For me, it's not a problem. So for me, when I when I organize myself, everything that I do is one day before. If today is the last day, I finish yesterday. I don't finish today. The problem is that most, most of us, we do the things, if today is the last day of class or today is the last day to pay the bill, today I want to go pay the Curacao, today I want to go pay Tigo, today I want to go, I and so many people. And then you are stressed, but you are stressed because you're not organized. Hey teacher, and what do you prefer? Uh, teaching um, by um, video conferences or virtual mm -hmm. or doing it uh, by a presential way? I don't know, is that correct? In person, the, the, in, the person. Is in person. Okay, in person, in person. What do you prefer? Uh, it doesn't matter. For me, the job is the job. My, my profession is to give education. If the person okay. is for me is how do you like to receive it? Because I don't have to learn. You have to learn. And the, that's the difference. It's not how I like it. I have to adapt to how my students learn, how my students uh, feel more comfortable. Some of my students prefer online. Some of my, preferred, my students prefer in person. And that's the difference. Because for me, it's, it's like, a, like a customer service agent. I work at a hotel. I work at La Curacao. I work at a restaurant. My job is to provide excellent service. The customer wants to order steak. The customer wants to eat pasta. The customer wants to have beers. My job is provide excellent service, not to make the decision of the customer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you work as a teacher in another job? Yes, I have work as a teacher. I work as an investor. I I do supervising. I do a lot of things. I also work online for a companies um, when they need it for the U.S. So I do. I have a lot of different things that I do. That sounds good. Great. Right. Right. Yeah, it's busy. It's busy. For example, I begin working at seven o'clock. I finish working. I I start my first class. A in-person class is at seven in the morning. I finish at 20 in the afternoon. My second job is at four o'clock. Uh, so I have 40 minutes between the two jobs to go from one to come to the other. Then I do the job from four o'clock to eight o'clock online. In this moment, right before you, I finish my job. I finish online and I begin this job. And this job I do for two hours. And then I finish at 10 o'clock. I upload the videos. While the videos are uploading, I'm doing my homework from the university, I'm studying. Then I go to bed, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning, I study, I do more homework, I prepare my breakfast, I go to my job, I am giving my class at seven o'clock every day. You don't have time for your family. <laughs> yes, Sunday, Sundays and Saturdays. And that's it. And Sunday and Saturday, that's it because Many people, for me, in my experience, they say, ah, the time for the family. But you don't do anything. You watch TV. You don't talk. You don't go out. You don't do anything. So for me, is if you are going to spend time with the family, is you are going to do things with the family. And for example, right now, I can go watch TV with the family. But this is, for me, it's not, it's, not, it's not spending time with the family. It's watching TV. Spending time for the family is we share, we talk, we do activities. We go out, we share experiences. But uh, for example, go to the movies, that, that for, for me is not spend time with the family. That's, I watch the movie with, with Jonathan, it's the same I watch the movie with my family because in the movie, I don't talk. I watch in the movie. Uh, you're right. For, for me, right? Because everybody has different opinion. But for me, that's why when I say I spend time with my family, Sunday, we go out, we go to the volcanoes, we go to the beach, we go, we, uh, we go bike riding, we, we do the different things together. Mm -hmm. And I, I like, I, I, quality time, quality time. 
I, I think so. I think that the most difficult is really just, just a different perspective because we, you have to remember that uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't grow up in El Salvador. So for me, my mind is different for what is the, the time for the family or what is the work ethics. Because in El Salvador- Where did you grow up? I, I grew up in Wisconsin and New York. So um, for me, the, the difference is that, that in El Salvador, the people always look for, ah, when is the next vacation? Ah, when is the next uh, day off? Hey, when do it, and, and it's different. For me, it's not because I like what I do. So for me, it's not a job. I like, I like teaching, I like it. For me, it's like maybe for you to go play soccer. You don't do for the money, you do because you like it. That I make money is different, but that's, the, that's what I've, when I was young, I was lucky that I discovered what I like doing and I'm good at, and I receive money for doing something that I like, which is different because most people go to work to earn money. I go to work to enjoy my life. That's the best. What, mm -hmm. what was the first thing you did that you uh, discovered uh, what you like to do? Volunteer. I volunteer. That's another thing because it's very American, right? In in the U.S., you volunteer a lot. In El Salvador, the people don't volunteer. So in the U.S., you volunteer. You volunteer on the weekends. You volunteer on the weekends or or after uh, after school, after classes. And I volunteer many different places. I volunteer at hospitals. I volunteer at places for the homeless, at soup kitchens. And one time, I volunteer for helping the people that have difficulty in mathematics and helping them get their high school diploma. And I learned that I liked it. I really liked teaching the people. And that's how I discovered that, hey, this is maybe a good profession for me. Good. Mm -hmm. but, but it's different, right? Because my life experience is different because I, I do my job that I like. I teach here, I teach in the day. For me, it's not a job. It's, is I make money, but I like my activities. It's like maybe for you on Sunday, you say, hey, I like, I want to go to the beach and relax. You like it. Yes, but I, when I go to work, I like it. So for me, it's a relax. It's not a stress. Do you teach some other language or just I, English? I teach Spanish as well for beginners, for foreigners. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I teach Spanish, mathematics, and English. Um, I have also teach science, social studies, and uh, literature. I also prepare people for the uh, immigration exams, the TOEFL, the IELTS, when they want to go to immigrate to Canada, to Sweden, different things also. My student from uh, a few years ago, this week, had, is, is now working at the embassy in Sweden because of the English. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yes, yes, yes. But the, the most interesting is out of all of the teachers, he sent me a message and say, hey, thank you. Because because of you, I am now happy. And now I have a job working in Sweden. And for you is the reason that I continue. Mm -hmm. So you have the opportunity to travel to another country. Yes, I had, I had the opportunity to travel and work in other countries. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, but, but uh, with, with my profession, so I am lucky. How do you feel when the student you had before tell some things like, uh, like what you just said, that they are now working and because of you? You know, I, it, it feels really good, but the, the sad part is that it's not because of me, it's because of them. And this is the Salvadorian mentality that for me is the sad. The teacher is a teacher here in China. The student is the difference. The work, the ethic of the student, how much time, dedication, effort, sacrifices the student makes to improve their English. That thing you already say, it's true because mm -hmm. including many people, uh, it depends on the culture, I think. For example, uh, many people from Europe, 
most of them learn Spanish just watching videos. And because they 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 they, uh, they want to learn, they they you can see the uh, the interest interested. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say el interés por aprender. Ah, the interest to learn. The interest to learn, uh, and I don't know. Maybe it's the culture. Maybe it's Salvadorian. Sometimes we get yeah, accustomed in some activities, I think. Yeah, but but it, it's just different. It's just different. For example, I do I do mental training. I do uh, acknowledge. I do different things that is not common for Salvadorian. So I understand it's different. So it, it's okay. It, it's just that for me, that's why I say that when there there is no excuse, because if I say, hey, Wilbur, I give you $1,000 tomorrow. <sighs> You find a way to make it. You find a way. So the same. Okay. The English is the same because with the English, you receive a salary of one thousand dollars. Okay. If Teacher, you, do you do you teach English just for adults, or have you teach English for children? No, I teach English for everything. From I have taught English from kindergarten all the way to university levels. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I teach, I have taught English in, in just about everything, in schools, in public schools, in private schools, in the American school, in the British school, in Augusto Walte, in San Pablo, in, in, in many different, in NITCA, at the universities. I taught English in many different areas. Mm -hmm. So. For how long have you been teaching? Wow, wow. Now, mm, more than 20 years. Oh. 19 to 2002, what, oh, this year, this year. Well, a little, a little more than 20 years, a little more than 20 years. Were you born here? Or are you I was, here? yes, yes, I was born in San Vicente. Mm -hmm. Can you go to the United States? Uh, yes, I, I have. Uh, uh, you have to remember that, like I said, my life compared to the normal person's life is, is very different, very different. I have, for example, I have lived in, in different countries. I have lived in, I think now is 21 houses. I have lived in 21 different houses. Most Salvadorians live in two or three their entire lives. Um, I, I started to live by myself, not with my mother, not with the family, by myself when I was 17. I have my own job. I provide for myself. I support myself and my family. So my life is, is it's just different. So for me, my mentality is different. My mentality is no excuse. You, have, you do what you do to survive. You do what you do to sacrifice, but you need to be organized. You need to be clear. What are your goals? And the goals not only, oh, one day I'm going to learn English. No, I'm going to learn English for this date with this technique by using this. The people say, oh, I want to buy a car one day. No, I'm going to buy a car next year in December. How? I'm going to save money. How much? I'm going to save $20 every week. Ah, for, and then, but this for me is the goal. The other is just a wish. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's okay. It, it's, it's not for everybody, right? Everybody has different ideas. Uh -huh. And we try to do, you know, I try to help the people where I can. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people, they, they always have the, the idea that, ah, it's always an excuse or I can't learn. No, well, everyone can learn, but not everyone has the effort to learn. You have a lot of experience teaching. Uh, I don't know if you have in mind, in your mind, to have your own academy, English academy. No, no, no. I don't. I don't like. Uh, I wouldn't like to have my own academy, because I am too. Uh, maybe, maybe I could have an academy, but uh, to be honest, I don't like the, the majority of the work ethic. The the majority of, of the, the the way the people work. 
um, is not the same as mine. Most people work for a salary and I don't work for a salary. I work for better quality. I work for better results. And it's different because most Salvadorians, they go to work and at five o'clock, hey, I have to go, I have to go. No, for me, it's not, I have to go. I ha if, if I need to give more, if I need to help more, that's my job, that's my profession. It's my job, it's my profession. Job, I can find a job working in the call center with my, I mean, I can find a job anywhere, but it's not the job, it's the profession. What you are born to do, what you like to do. And this is difficult to find people that have the same commitment or the same mentality as me. So for that reason, I don't think it would be good for me to have an academy. Yeah, that's true. It's difficult find people like you, mm -hmm. like the way you, you do, you think. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to work independent and then I have a lot of jobs. Yes, but every day is just the same. It's, it's a good one. It's only difficult when, when you are not prepared. If you are prepared, nothing is difficult. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm glad I, I was able to answer many of your questions and hopefully the same thing in the future, you're going to say, hey, I learned English. And it's not because of me, it's because of you, it's because of your effort, you completing the assignments, you doing the homework, you practicing, you writing down the vocabulary, you review the vocabulary and using it. That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. That's the part that's going to be the biggest thing. Remember, the teacher is only like the coach. Messi is the person who does the work. The coach only helps Messi to discover his potential. You have the potential. Me, I just help you discover it. I just help you learn how to use it. That's all. So because of that, we are going to start with your activities. <laughs> Let's get started, guys. Today, we're reviewing unit one and unit two. So what are we going to do with our partners? We are here in our platform, Realanzado, right? And we completed everything from sections one through five. Today, we're going to have section one and two. What are we going to do? It's simple. Uh, really, the objective is not to do the exercise because the exercises are completed. The important part is to remember the vocabulary and the grammar. So we want to go back and we want to check with our partners. For example, we go here and we say, hey, partner, do you remember the pronouns? They, who, that? And imagine Wilbur is my partner. I say, hey, partner, do you remember how to use who and that? Wilbur, do you remember how to use who and that? Uh, yeah, I remember. Okay, when do, do we use who? Mm -hmm. When you talk about people, and you can that either both, right? And that's it. That's the review. The important is one, we are clear. We understand when to use it. And two, then Wilbur and I make sentences. We use it to make sure that it's clear. Not only ah, I can explain. Yes, I can explain, but I can use. That's what we're going to do with our partners. Okay. So we're going to go the videos the videos and that's the idea go through the videos make sure you look at the topic and you say ah yeah 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 this i remember okay no i remember the next video no yes i remember it is this is the explanation and this is the example It's two things right explanation and examples it's okay guys yeah Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's All okay. Right. Perfect. Then that's what we're going to do. In this moment, we are going to start with unit one. We're going to have 15 minutes to review. How much time? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Because we also need to leave time for unit two. And we want to make sure that it's clear. Okay. So right now with our partners, Unit one, examples and grammar, all of unit one. Make sure that you can use it. Okay. 
Y tu hijo Carlos Agustín se fue. Modo. Lemar, you okay? You have any questions? Hi, teacher. I don't know if it's, it's my internet, but I couldn't get into the, the meeting. Yes, because Wilbur is waiting for you, I think. Let me see. Because like, like, like uh, I don't know, if reloading or waiting, waiting, I was waiting alone <laughs> and I couldn't get into the meeting. Yeah. Okay, I'll try to move you to another meeting because it says that you were unable to join. Okay, let me try one more time. Let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah, because the raining is coming and it makes many loud. Yes. It's difficult, <laughs> difficult to hear you because. Uh, yeah, raining. you should put earphones. <laughs> yeah. Hi, teacher. Hey, Samantha. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? You have any questions? I, I hear you. No, I think we are rain. okay. Josh, he can hear me very well because of the rain. <laughs> yeah, you need some some headphones or some earplugs or, or earphones to help you. Yeah. <laughs> Myron, can you hear? I think she he went for his earphones. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I'll, I'll come back in a little bit then. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Ernesto, Ivania, do you guys have any questions? I, I, Hi, teacher. Hi. We were watching the videos. Ah, okay, excellent, excellent, perfect. Yes, I, I, I don't remember what is the difference with who and that. Who is when we use it for when we're describing people. So okay. instead of saying someone or, and you just say I like the person who 
helped me, or I like the person who cleaned this room, for example. Okay. That is used for things or people. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Usually, things, people, yes. Yes, usually. We are correct, Ernesto. <laughs> ah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the who, okay. it, it, we can use, use um, and singular and plural people. Yes, yes. Okay. 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 Um, how going church? Hilda, Jose, do you guys have any questions? Yes. No, I, I can see the videos in the platform. I can see the platform. Oh, what happened, Hilda? What message do you get? Oh, my internet is bad. Okay, that's yes. Yeah. Then it's, it's difficult for to load that the videos. Okay. With, with, with lesson, lesson Jose, lesson. how is your internet, Jose? Uh, kind of, teacher, kind of. Okay. A few, a few, few minutes ago, it was kind of. So, so um, right, but perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, so if it's difficult for you to watch the videos, don't don't watch the videos. Look at the topic and make sure you understand how or what is the topic, and it's see if you can. Lesson, what lesson is? Mm -hmm. well, one of the simple. What knowledge check is? Okay, let me see. Okay. He he may he have a lot of he has a lot of jobs, right? So uh, yeah. he's organized and intelligent, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for example, in the sentence number five, I want to discuss my problem with friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's important when a friend uh, is sensitive and when um, he or she okay. can hear you. Yes, I know. For example, number six, you say, I'd rather have a boss, and this person has good leadership and qualities. Uh, many people. When they saw a, a, a person like that with this quality, they just follow him or follow her because the ideas are good, you know? Yeah, that's all right. Let's continue with other. A long time. Hi, Tisha. Hey, guys. You guys have any questions? Everything is okay? And we are talking about personalities. Ah, yeah. okay. 1.6. Excellent, excellent. It's good to use the adjectives, use the descriptions that you learn. Yeah? Yes. You're doing a, rev a review. Excellent, excellent. That way you're prepared for the exam. The oral evaluation. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a, an oral test. There should, yes. there should be, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that way you can evaluate uh, the oral, I mean, you are like, uh, like you're fluent, right, in English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Ariel, hi. <laughs> Oh, we had we had another. Ariel Callejas. Hi, my friend. 
Maybe he has okay. problems. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, guys. You continue then. All right. I don't know if, if you remember that um, that form. Okay, uh, for me, that's the key of, of this section. Uh, the ING form after the phrase, I was wondering if you don't mind. Yes or no, teacher? <laughs> okay, yes. That's a very, a very good way to remember. Uh, I was wondering if you mind going or if you mind watching or if you mind and then you use the ing. That's the correct the ing form. That's if right. You mind uh, giving me, lending me. Exactly. Exactly. So when you, use, when you use the word mind, that's the important thing to remember: is that you need to use the ing. Yeah, the ing form. Mm -hmm. So let me see another another examples. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Um, uh, okay, the difference between lending and, and, and borrowing. Lend, lend uh, is um, use it for the people who give something. Borrow Correct. So, for example, if you, go to, if, if you go to Banco Agricola, Banco Agricola is going to lend you the money, but you are going to borrow the money. Yeah. That's right. Borrow uh, is who rec uh, receive. Correct. Who receives and lend is who gives it. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's another tip that I yeah, try to, yeah. to remember. Exactly. Okay. Let me see. No, no, that's no nothing. Side. So it's not can you borrow some money? It's can I borrow some money? It's going to be can you lend me some money? Borrow, borrow is is who receive and lend is when you give. Right, that is correct, Nati. Can I borrow some money, or I can say to Sergio, Sergio, can you lend me some money? Yeah, that's right. Okay. What another section? Section four. Lend. Right, so you can use lend with you. Can you lend me some money? Can I borrow some money? You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Natalie, what section do you prefer to review? Okay, guys, I'm glad everybody's back. It's amazing. 15 minutes like that. <laughs> Are there anything that is not clear that I can help you with? Is there anything that you say, mm, I didn't understand this part? Yes. We have an, uh, we, we were a little bit confused by the use of who and that. Uh, in the first uh, video, they say uh, uh, who and that, like a pronoun. Right. And the second, uh, the second one was a, as an object. Yes. 
So it's that what you are talking about, just like um, as, a, as an example, um, I like Maritza, okay? Maritza, I like her. Her is the pronoun, but Mar I like her is also the object, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the idea. So the pronoun is going to be, instead of saying the name of the person, in this case, maybe I don't know the person, I'm going to say, I like the person who has red hair. In this case, it's going to be Hilda because Hilda is the only one with the picture with red hair. And that's the idea of how to use it. It's to help you identify who you're talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we use it as an object, we use him, her, and da, da, da. Yeah, you can use him, uh, her. What, what The idea is to use who or that, right? So when you're using it, it's, uh, it's only for the function. So I like the person who gave me a flower, or I like the, the student who finished the exam. But what's, what, uh, what is the difference when I use has an subject and when I use it has an object. The same thing as the pronoun. For example, you can is the same word, but I called I called you or I called him. I do not say I called he. Him is the object. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, great. Now we're gonna go with our partners and we're going to do unit two, review unit two, okay? The same thing, take a look. If you have difficulty looking at the unit or the videos because some places it's raining, it's okay. Try to look at what is the topic and then with your partner, you can discuss if you understand or don't understand the topic to make sure it's clear. So unit two, unit two. Hilda, Ariel, any questions? Okay, Ariel, Hilda, you guys having some problems? Jose, your partner is having some problems. I'm going to move you to another room, okay? Okay, okay. Yes, because I saw your partner is, is having some difficulties. Okay, give me a sec and I'll move you.
Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Outen, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Outen, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay, so how many personality types are there? There are six basic personality types. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. They usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. Okay. So that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. This type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really. Any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. The last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. 
medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Alden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. Hi, teacher. <laughs> you guys, do you guys have any questions? No, we are okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, if you do, just let me know. Okay. 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 Hey, Vanya, Ernesto, do you guys have any questions? No, I, I think. No, we are I... talking about the the personality to to the to the to the jobs. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Yes, personality types to to jobs. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh... Hey guys, do you guys have any questions? Um, no, 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 not <laughs> no it, it, it's clear that the personality types, yeah. These personality types, and uh, we are making a review with, with this exercise 2.8. Oh, okay. With comparisons, yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Well, let me know if you guys have any questions. Okay, we will. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It's more expensive than a motorcycle. Mm, that's nice. Can you give me one example about less than? Um, a bicycle uh, costs less money than a motorcycle. <laughs> Can you repeat again, please? Uh, a bicycle costs less money than a motorcycle. Uh, okay, yeah, that's true. Can you give me one sentence using worse than? Worse? I don't. I don't see that. Um, hey guys, do you guys have any questions? Um, no. No. Okay. Probably just what what we are just talking about that it, it is difficult to us to identify with the the how can you say the the conjugación del verbo to identify when it's past participle, when it's past sim simple past, I mean. To identify or when, or to use it? Um, to identify, because we, we, we talk about the, we, if we read something, we understand what, what, the, what it's talking about or what it's saying, the, but, we we can identify all oh, these berries in past past participle or i don't know if you um, understand okay <laughs> what I'm okay to say. well as a tip usually for irregular verbs with past participle they have an n many of the verbs you're going to see are going to have a different spelling so it's going to be um usually like for example break broke, broken, okay? Or um, they usually have a, an unusual spelling for with an N or uh, maybe a, a different sound. It, the most important is really to make the time to learn the difference between 
the present, the past, and the past participle. It's a matter of, of, of really studying those verbs and making sure they are clean or, or they are clear for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the important is that you start. So, for example, no, not only ah, it's difficult. Okay, begin with the list of you know five or ten verbs every day, and then imagine only five verbs, only five words, only five every day. But in one month, is a hundred and fifty verbs that you know in present, past, and past participle. In one year, is one thousand eight hundred verbs, but you have to begin with five. That's yeah. That's the thing. The thing is, like, like I said at the beginning of the class, the, the problem is making the time and, and organizing that you can do it. Yeah. Okay. I okay? will do it. Yeah. Thank you. you. You're welcome. Handsome man. Hey, Sergio, Nati, do you guys have any questions? Oh, for the moment, no. No, teacher, I think not. we was um, making a review well. about the us ask. Sorry, Sergio Nati, we we, we that, that last sentence we got cut off. You were you were saying Sergio Nati? <laughs> Don't worry, teacher. No, I was I was uh, telling you that. We we were uh, making a review about the the as as comparison form. Okay. We was trying to to practice a little bit. Good. Make it. Mm -hmm. Some examples. Go ahead, Nati. Now we make some example examples with as as. Okay. Remember the idea for as as is the same. It's like saying equal or the same. So, yeah, and I and I didn't remember that uh, that we we don't have to use uh, than when we when we are using as as form. Exactly, that's no a than. mistake. That's, that's a mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, two, the two things the same. Yeah, correct. That's correct. Okay. Well, as you can see, guys, a lot of the information you remember, but some you don't. And that's why it's important. How do you say formularios? Uh, usually forms. Forms is usually the way that you say formularios. Um, so the idea is that you need to just make sure that you are organized and the verbs, the vocabulary. Um, I was, you're welcome. I was telling one group that, for example, uh, they say, ah, it's difficult to remember the verbs. Okay, don't remember all of them, but begin with two, three, five in a day. If you can only learn two words a day, okay, you only learn two. But in one month, it's 60 verbs that you know in present, past, and past participle. If you can only learn one word, one verb correctly every day, it's okay. But in one year, it's 365 verbs that you can say correctly. The important is not how many you can learn. The important is that you do it. That's the most important part. Okay, guys? So how do you say fingir? Fingir is to fake. You say it with fake. So, or you can say also a common word, uh, pretend. So tomorrow we are going to continue. We are going to review units three and four. And then we get ready for, that's it, for our exam over the weekend. Okay, guys? All right. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, guys, have a great Thank night. Thank you for all. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.